everyone. Happy Tuesday. We're nearing the end of the month here. It's the 26th. Isn't that weird? That is weird. But it's, uh, as they say, spooky season. It, the first day of fall was a couple of days ago, uh, and I am ready. The leaves are changing on some trees here in East Tennessee, and it's feeling better every single day. Great. The mornings are cool, which I adore. The evenings are nice and cool. We haven't had to crank the heat on or anything yet. It's feeling like fall, and I'm super excited about it. Uh, if you're brand new here, welcome. My name is Rachel Webb. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamp. And the voice that you'll hear is Miss Becca Oaks, who's also an owner and craft educator here. And we're going live to craft and to talk to you guys and answer questions. That's kind of what lives are about. Um, here at Oak and Lane, we're not only an incredible YouTube channel. Uh, if you do like our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Completely free and takes two seconds. But we also have an incredible community over at oakandlamb.com. Check it out if you haven't already. We do have digital cut files that can be used on a wide range of different cutting machines, laser machines, printers, uh, and for just different crafts. A ton of different types of crafts. If you're interested, definitely click the link down below. You can grab our membership for the year for a really great discount, $35 off using the code 35OFF. We've made that super easy for you guys to remember. Uh, along with cut files, we have member-only content like videos, trainings. We also have a Facebook group that is exclusive to only Oak and Land members. It is a lot of our members' most favorite perk ever because it's just a place where you guys can gather talk to each other, answer questions, post pictures, and have a great time. Uh, we love our community. You all make it special. If you're looking for a crafty community to just kind of lift you up, help make you well-rounded, help make you confident, inspire you daily, and challenge you create creatively, that's what Oak and Lamb can do for you. So definitely grab your membership. Uh, we do have a monthly option available as well. If you would like to do that, you can use code FUN, F-U-N, for 10 bucks off your first month with us. Uh, you do get a much better discount for the year, but we get if that's not in everyone's budget. Now, you can see we don't have a machine on the table today. That is because here at Oak and Lamb, we do love to craft on a lot of different aspects. So we do a lot of Cricut. We do a lot of woodworking, print and cut. We do some laser cutting, woodworking. We make a lot of home decor like we're making today and so much more. We even sew from time to time, which is amazing. Sometimes Becca gets me to sew, and that's always fun. Um, but because we're so well-rounded here, we love to teach you guys on a wide variety of different crafts. So today is a super fun little craft. We are covering a pumpkin um, with some fabric today. Now, you can do this with uh, tissue paper. You can do this with uh, fabric. You can do it with all kinds of different things. So definitely uh, check your local craft store and see what you have. But this is kind of a great hack for those of you who uh, have these cheaper pumpkins maybe from the dollar store or something like that and you just want to dress them up make them more your style or uh, Becca mentioned it in a video last week you might just not love the style of these pumpkins and you want to really give them a good pop of color maybe your house doesn't have a lot of color this is a great way she mentioned to incorporate color for the holidays or it's maybe just, fall colors just aren't your thing like they're not my thing yeah. I love fall but fall colors are not my thing sure. yeah. then you can just do this which is a great great thing to do Okay. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Is Rachel's mic on? Did it you is. That? It's, yeah, it's fine. Okay. So I say I saw that late. My problem, I guess. Okay. So the things we're using today is some fabric. Becca picked this out at Walmart. It's Pioneer Woman. I love Pioneer Woman so prints. so cute. Love um, them. She actually tested one out for us, and it is so cute. Still wet, so don't judge. But she's adorable. Look at her. Look how cute. I love it. It's too cute. Now, Becca went the way of kind of paper mache okay? So what she did was cut strips. Like this. She cut strips out of her fabric and laid them one by one with a layer of you can do Mod Podge today. We're going to be using Maker's Magic. Uh, you can also use some Elmer's glue. You can use a sticky tack, spray tack, whatever you want to do, whatever you have. Mm -hmm. uh, I would use what you have. Don't go buy anything special for this. Uh, she used that to layer them one by one with a layer of uh, your base underneath and a base over top, which is super cool. 
Uh, now, there's a lot of different ways. I've seen some um, demonstrations of this type of craft with little squares. People cut little squares out. And, uh, it would be super cute to use pinking shears. Squares would be adorable. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do today is do some squares. It'd be great. Do we have pinking shears? No, that's okay. No. I saw some with pinking shears, you know, so the edges don't, you know, look super mismatched. I think the fried edges look, kind of look cool, too. That would look cute, yeah. too. So we might do squares today. Um, like a patchwork one. That's adorable, Rachel. I like that idea. Thanks. Do we want to use... Several different ones is what I would do. Yeah. We'll do that. Um, we have a heat gun. That's just kind of for us to speed that process up. We have our Maker's Magic. Now, again, you can use whatever. Uh, decoupage, like I said, Elmer's glue with a little bit of water, whatever. Uh, we have a paintbrush here. It doesn't have to be the smoothest paintbrush in the world. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be the best paintbrush in the world. If you're slapping a coat of this on, putting on some fabric, and slapping another coat of it on. It doesn't have to be rocket science there. Uh, Becca picked up some Pioneer Woman ribbon, which is... Adorable. It was over there with the same section, and I really loved that these came. This, these were a fat quarter bundle from Pioneer Woman, which was really wonderful because all of the the fabrics go really well together. So if you have trouble like putting fabrics together and colors and things like that, find a pack that's all together. Yeah, yeah it, it's really it. fantastic. Kat love said, it. "Rachel, are you giving away the fact that Becca prepped your craft?" Kat, Rach did not ask me to do this, and we didn't have to. I just uh, really wanted to make a decoupage pumpkin. And then I, I said three times because we we do this often too. I was like, "Do you want to do? You seem packed because we're we." There we are things wanna, we like specifically. We yeah. want to create things that we're passionate about for you. We never want to be like, "Hey guys, today we're." Like, I will probably never make you a light box anything because I hate them. And uh, unless Becca has a gun to my head, I hope not to ever have to sew again on here. Yep. But, you know. Yep. Uh, but anyways, we like to do what we're passionate about. So Becca seemed excited to run down here and put some decoupage on this pumpkin. And I said, do you want to do this live, Becca? Because I don't want you to be sitting there having FOMO wishing that you were making this project. I already just, made one. I'm good. Like, I already made one. I'm fine. But here at Okay we really want you guys to see our passion and the yeah. things that you do, too. I think that me and Becca were equally as excited about this one. Yeah. So she got to prep one and get her, uh, get, scratch that itch. Done and now, it. <laughs> now I'm going to cut these into cute little very uneven squares. And hey, you know what, Rachel? We cut, could cut them out. I could, yeah, with like the rotary cutter. It's a, whatever you want to do. I can. I don't care. I mean, they're just squares. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think mix matched in different sizes is going to be even cuter, though. Well, then I will yeah. do that on purpose. Okay. Wink, wink. Um, man, if only I had some fabric scissors. She's not going to give them to me. Is I'm getting them. them. I'm going to give them to you. Am I getting the, the Guggenheim? If you get Maker's Magic on it, I will not be a happy person. These scissors are the best, by the way. I just used them today for the first time. They're amazing. Like, feel it. They're Gug like Guggenheims. Guggenheim. If y'all want this, Becca can link them for you because I did not link these. They're oh my gosh, so they nice. weigh like three pounds. They do, but they're so lovely. They are so lovely. So I'm going to be cutting that out of there. Yeah. Pull them down a little bit so they can see them. Oh, look, they are just beautiful. And I have some little babies. nippers, too. Look mm. at these babies. Oh, okay. uh, the handle's, like, dipped in rubber, so it's kind of grippy. But they are, like, they cut so good. They're like, definitely you... for right-handed people. Absolutely. I think they have a... Uh, I don't want to say that. They might. I love them, though. But look at these cute fabrics. So cute. So cute. And then our pumpkins. I say pumpkin. Our pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby. Don't ever pay full price for these. No. Also, don't get them at Hobby Lobby if you don't want to. I'd get them at the dollar store. Yeah. Kat, this poster board's just for you. Ooh, it's so pretty. Actually, I need to cut fabric, so this goes back over here. Go back over there. Oh, I, how many of these am I doing, Becca? Rachel, I, I did about half of one of those fat quarters. How many colors? All of them. Oh. Do you want me to help you? No, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, I did about half total. So honestly, I, oh my gosh, this is isn't stunning. it so pretty? Ugh, this is beautiful. Look, oh, I love. It. Hey, they're already in squares for. Well, no, I probably won't. Yeah, those are too big, but they're cute. Oh, are they too big? I got oh, my mom man. up here. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I was shocked by how affordable these scissors were. I honestly, I was gonna pay. I I can't even believe I'm gonna say this. I probably would have paid upwards of $100 for a really good pair of fabric shears. And then when I found these and they were like 20 bucks, sweet. 
20 bucks. $20? Yes. You've blown my mind now. I think they were 20 bucks. They may have been like 25. Hold on. The Guggenheim, and I spelled it totally wrong. The Guggen, who in the world could spell that correctly on their I first try? No yeah, right around 20 bucks. 20, That's nuts, bucks. Becca. I know. They come in this nice little box. And How cute. They did take a while to ship, though. I have to say, that was annoying. You can try them for 90 days, and if you do not immediately recognize the secret referring to while cutting, here's what we'll do. Refund what? your money, let you keep the scissors, and send you a pair of Ginger 8-inch dress maker shears to your doorstep for your trouble. Ginger. Ginger? Ginger? I shouldn't have even tried it. <laughs> I should have even tried it. I'm trying to see if they have a left-handed pair. Surely they do. They're, uh, they're losing out on a bit of a market there if they... Yeah, I'm sure. Honor. Yeah. Um, Who's left-handed? Oh, Zach's left-handed. And I forgot that he was left-handed. Yeah, Kat is left-handed, too. That's right. That's right. We got all weird. We were painting stuff at the camp trip, and she was painting a pine cone. And Anna was like, what? You're left-handed? And then, let me just tell you Kat, this. Kat, are you here? Yeah, she's Is here. that hard for you, Kat, to be left-handed in the crafting world? Sammy was picking up all the rocks and the, and the pine cones and everything and playing with them, and he shunned everything. Cat painted. Why? I don't know. Because she made some really cute stuff. I mean, he was, and he didn't know it was hers. That's the funny part. Little turd. That's hysterical. Oh, he is absolutely. No, he's not. He's sweet as pie. I say little turd with love. Yeah, we call our kids toot faces. And the other day, I thought it's not really, it's not really that fun. Like, why do I say that? <laughs> Um, I'm ready for scissors, lefty for writing. Oh, that's so funny. Well, this hold up on outdoors. I want a fake pumpkin of my front flower bed. So, Carol, um, I think if you seal it well, especially if you used outdoor Mod Podge, yeah, seal it up good. It yeah. should be fine. I mean, Mod Podge, it's waterproof once you once it dries. Yeah. The ones that are meant for outdoor now. I love that yellow. Some of them aren't waterproof. You know, I love yellow. Painted yellow. Charlie looks so good in yellow. He does. Which I look decent in yellow. I think he, I don't know if he has my skin or J, uh, James's skin. James's skin I've is I've never really paid attention. Dark. He's like olivey. Olivey. What's the dimension of the fabric? The fabrics are fat quarters, so a what quarter of a yard. What does that mean? It's, a, it's no. a quarter of a yard. See? For the, pe for the people who don't sew at all, help us out. I remember reading that on a live and thought it was a mistake. I'm like, this person wrote fat quarter. And you were like, that's correct. Yeah, right I don't know why. A fat quarter, if you did not know, is 18 by 22 inches. 18 by 22. I think I'm going to have way too many of these for this craft, but that's okay. I can always make more. Guys, guess what's happening today? Pool guy Steve is coming to close the pool. Maybe we should take one more dip before he comes. Uh, that dip is about 55 degrees. I'll do it if you do it. Fine. You know I will. I know. I will, too. You know I will. It'll be like the ice bucket. I wish he would come when we were in there. In the pool. He's going to pull up and be like, um. <laughs> but no, no, you can close it. We'll get out. <laughs> it's going to be so cold. I'm looking for the Guggenheimers for you. I'm actually looking for an Amazon. I don't think there is an Amazon. Like. I want this blue. Which is your least favorite fabric in, in this collection? Um, I mean, I love all of them. If I had to, ch uh, if I had to choose, it would probably be the blue, just because it's not a pattern. But I love the color. Does that make sense? Yep. Honestly, I bought I bought several of the packets of fat quarters. And Question. Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> if I was to be doing this craft right now. And I hadn't openly asked for some fabric scissors. Would you just have let me be struggling this entire time with Maybe. some subpar scissors that I would find in the drawer or something? Don't lie to me. I said maybe. Well, 
I mean, if you got into it and it was really, really bad, I you might, might be like, say, oh, wait, Rachel, I just now remembered. Or I might Lugan say something hums. like, if only your husband hadn't ruined my fabric shears. That was a true story. That was sad. I was taken aback by the whole ordeal. I think that got thrown away. I think I was just so devastated I threw him away. Well, uh, Elmer's glue and water mix work. I don't know, Kathy. That's a great question. I've never mixed Elmer. I, I do assume you mean, you mean Eileen's? Elmer's. Well, she said A-Y-L-M-E-R. So that could be Eileen's or Elmer's. I'm not sure. Either one Either work. way, I haven't mixed either one of those glues with water. So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I've mixed Eileen's with water. I don't really use uh, Elmer's glue a whole lot. Right, yeah. One quarter, they're one quarter inch squared instead of one quarter inch linear cut. Um, Look at these little patterns. So cute. There we go. So cute. Which this is one, your favorite? This one's my least favorite. This you know, Rachel, favorite. I was going to go with that one just because it has such a white background, but I really do like it. It would be really good for quilts. I don't know. For those of you who don't follow me on social media, I started making some quilted stockings last week. And they week. are adorable. They're so stinking cute. And one, I wanted a lot of floral fabrics that had lighter backgrounds to mix in with, you know, a lot of color. And it was difficult to find cute ones. Mm -hmm. So I would have considered that one a cute one. However, it didn't really go with the color scheme I was going with, but I probably would have thrown it in anyway. I think I'm going to veto this one, and here's why, guys. This is something you do have to think about when you're picking fabric. Uh, the base of the pumpkin, unless you want to go outside and give it a quick white spray paint coat, is uh, going to be orange. So this sheer, let me see if it'll even show. It probably will show. This through. sheer on this orange. Now, adding decoupage would be even worse, but you're going to see that orange. See, you can't see it that good right now. If you add decoupage and you get this a little bit wet, it's going to see, you're going to see right through to that orange. So I'm probably going to veto this one and not use this one just because the rest of them have decently colored backgrounds. The yellow might be sketch. We shall see. Well, but the orange coming through might just make it look like a darker yellow yeah. or something. I think it yeah. would be fine. What's happening? It's fine. This is going to be so cute. But think about that when you're choosing. Now, again, if you have some white spray paint, which I'd say a lot of you will do, just take it outside. Put a You can duct tape, or not duct tape, but painter's tape around here if you want the stem to stay brown. Put a layer of some white um Spray paint, and then you'll be rocking and rolling. You can use whatever you want. Elmer's glue is for toddlers and elementary kid construction paper project. It is, yes, but you can also use it for decoupage. Yeah, mix it with a little bit of water. You'll be, you'll be good to go. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for now. Who here? I know you all. I know some of you have done this. Who here, when they were kids or adults? Covered their hands in Elmer's glue, let it dry, and then peeled it off. Come on, that's like the, the pastime. It's like the best thing ever. Wait, you bought a pack of pink gloves. Oh, I see them. <laughs> I bought gloves? Yeah, you bought Were they gloves. shipped here? Yeah. Oh, I had something else shipped here, too. I, I got the um, printable vinyl and the printable heat transfer vinyl They're from Cricut. Pink. Those are cute. Well, Becca, now we have to get pink gloves. I hope you're happy. They're cute. I mean, I don't even love pink, and they're cute. They fit, too. You know, I love looking at pink. I and like blush. By the way, my, my room growing up, when, you know, when I got to the age where mom was like, what color do you want your room, Rachel? I picked the top half, hot pink, and the bottom half, lime green. And this is why you asked... Or let me and Anna decorate your new and house. This is this is why. Fast forward fifteen years. This is why I asked Beck and Anna. Just kidding. I mean, we pretty much just did it without her asking. Actually, I don't even know that we asked. But her other homes were beautiful. She mm, did a great job. It looked like Hobby Lobby threw up on it, which is which fine. is fine. Which is fine. All I meant was they certainly weren't, weren't lime green and hot pink. Mm. Well, they could have been. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. One more thing. Yes. I did have to rip the tags off of her couch when we moved them out of the trailer. I had had the couches for two years. That's all I'm saying. And then she said, no, don't take those off. And I went, pluck. I think, I think she said verbatim, 
oops, <laughs> if I'm remembering correctly. I'm that sure seems about right. Oops. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, guys. Key, the key to this. Don't overthink it. Oh, yeah, exactly. Don't overthink Exactly. It. Start slapping these on. Overlap them a little bit. It's going to start taking shape. It's going to be adorable. There, luckily, there's no pattern that's very super similar. So just start. This, honestly, you know? a child could do this project. I think it would be, I think Fallon would love this. So I'm spreading just an area of this, setting it down. Let me get one. My, this is my favorite one. Set it on yes, there. Uh, <laughs> what? She said, what the heck just happened? I clicked the link to get scissors. Bam, $80 later, I'm getting four different pairs. <laughs> what just happened? Now I'm mad these aren't on Amazon. But no, they're great scissors, honestly. Which ones did you get, Jessa? Let me know. Um, did you already say that you could use tissue paper for this, right? I did. Did you tell them that that's what we started to do? Uh, no, I didn't want to make them feel like we were. So what happened was we were going to just do tissue paper. But I couldn't find any cute tissue papers, printed tissue papers. And then I didn't want to do solids because I thought if I'm doing solids, I may as well just spray paint them. Um, I ended up finding some cute printed ones on Amazon, but you had to buy so much. It was like $25 per print. And I knew that I wanted uh, several different prints and colors. So I, fabric was just the no-brainer. She called me. Yeah. Which if you all didn't know, Tuesdays and Thursdays is when... James gets to visit with Charlie. So, of course, uh, I, I'm a little tied up sometimes. So, Becca called me at Walmart. She was like, hey, how do you feel about fabric? And I was like, sounds phenomenal. Then I got here, and she had been so excited to, uh, to test it out. It's true. I don't like Guggenheim's website. I have to be honest. I think it's hard to navigate. Like the page that I sent you, like how do I even get to the <laughs> to the other products? That's frustrating. I'm a decently intelligent person. You're super intelligent. You're so intelligent. That's frustrating. I've used napkins over a white pumpkin. Maureen, I thought about that too. Some cute napkins would be adorable. Okay, you remember that um, that technique to burn? You glue yes. the tissue paper down, then you burn it. That was so cool. That was super cool. The 9-inch, little, giant, 4-inch, and 4.5-inch thread trimmers. I got the uh, thread trimmers too. I like them a lot. I like the big handle on them. As you all can see... Just slapping these down. This is so cute, Rachel. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love the patchwork. And see when it dries, it dries back to its normal color. Right. So this will all harden up and dry, and I mean, it'll be gorgeous. Um, Glenda, welcome. She says, I just found this channel, and I love it. So funny. I've been binge watching. We're so oh, happy hey. that you found us. Welcome, welcome to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe on YouTube. It's free to do it. Um, just can I, can I just say how wonderful my day goes after I start with a flock video? You all put me in such a great mood. Kate, you're you so sweet. You guys are the sweet. sweetest. You're so sweet. Jessa, yes, yeah, she said, I only found the thread trimmers in the 4-inch because they popped up after purchase as a bonus. Mine did that too, but I think that's stupid. I think that it should list all of the regular products somewhere. I guess it's like an added bonus thing. You can only purchase if you purchase that. Which that's weird. kind of smart, but really annoying at the same time. You're like, sounds kind of smart. So now I'm with Becca. I say get a pattern pack. Right? Get a pack of the patterns. I'm all for that now. Very cute. Super cute, super cute. Right, are you all doing pumpkin patch or anything this year? So, I don't think so. Uh, we're lucky to actually have lots of free fun things. Uh, my mom, uh-oh. My mom and dad bought a camper at a really cute RV park in town called Turtle Rock. And apparently they go ham for Halloween. They're like super serious about it. 
So they're having a little Halloween event. Uh, of course, not on Halloween, which is good. Um, so I'm sure that I'm sure that Charlie will have fun there. And then, of course, we're going camping for another fun Halloween thing. I don't know. I think that I think there's plenty of plenty of free fun things to do. I think yeah. so too. Well, and you know, the last couple of years when we went. We went to one that had lots of different things, and the yeah. girls all wanted to go do all the things, and Beckett just wanted to stay at the slide. And I was like, I'm not spending, by the end of the day, just to get in for all of this, it was like 80 bucks. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we just stayed at a slide the whole uh -huh. time? Uh -huh. No. So we kind of all decided that we would just, like, do pumpkins and stuff like that at my house or your house or whatever. I don't know. Um, and forego that. But, yeah, I'm really excited about our camping trip. That will be adorable. However, I discovered today Sammy is terrified of Halloween stuff. We went into Walmart, and every time he saw something, he freaked out. For real? Yes. No, he really is. Oh, so I don't know gosh. if one of us is going to have to stay back at the camper when the kids go trick-or-treating. Because some of those kids wear really scary, scary stuff. stuff. That's so sad. Yes, Kat. That's exactly what she's saying. She'll go camping with other people, but not you. Hmm. Wow, Becca. Thanks for, thanks for being on my side there. <laughs> I appreciate, appreciate it. Oh, are you going to sing for us? Or is that like a fluke? You want me to sing? Oh, what song's on your heart? Oh, my life. I got a lot of songs. What's on my our heart? song? Huh? I Will Love You Longer Than Always. No, that's not it. That's a Dolly Parton song. It's the Randy Travis one. What is it? I'm going to love yeah. you forever. Forever and ever. Amen. Yeah. Or forever, amen, or forever and ever, amen, or whatever it's called. I don't know. I don't know. I do love that song. Hey, did you water Will did today? Not today, no. Or as Jason says, Wanda. Which, well, just, which is really weird because Anna has a plant named Wanda in the middle of her table. Which I'm just honored that he remembered I, that I he had admit. a name in the first place. I mean, I hate to give him credit, but Wilda hasn't looked this good in a while. Poor Wilda. Poor Wilda. I think it's because our love is just... That's, well, she is a love no firm. Hold she back. thrives on love, yeah. so, you know? Yeah, I do. I do know. Yeah, I do. I do know. Listen, I don't care how bad she looks. She has made it through the storm. I know really don't know, Rachel. I really don't. She is a resilient old bitty. I've, uh oh. See, that's what happens when you put them on the bottom. That's what's happening to me. Too. What happened? Where did you go? Yeah. Where were you, honey? Were you right here? You know, Rachel, I almost wonder uh -huh. if it wouldn't be easier. To put a little bit of adhesive on the fabric, put it on there, and then coat everything. Hey, you know, we're, we're about 75% of the way. I know. I, you're only so. doing what I told you to do. Well, what? <laughs> what I told you to do. My suggestion well, I was just I was going to say, I'm just taking, you know, just do what I'm told. Either but... way, it's looking amazing. So. Oh, she's adorable. She's so cute. Dolly Parton, you are is my heart song. Hold on. I'm terrible with names. Let me see what that is. Dolly Parton. You're a tiny one. Singing a part song. That's a good song. That's a good Dolly Parton song. What is? Heart song melody. Plays like a symphony. The sweetest music I have ever known. Everybody, is everybody <laughs> soaking this in? <laughs> if you ever go to Dollywood, there's a little um, church. It's next to the carousel, and it's called Heart Song, and it's like a... It's like a play type thing it's a movie and like rain comes out of the ceiling and little butterflies and that's one of the songs and I'm telling you it was always my favorite thing growing up and so I make I sing that song to Wayne all the time and he's like oh my god <laughs> I'm sure he loves it I'm sure I'm sure it means a lot to him to hear you sing it I try to get found to be Dolly Parton for Halloween how'd that go she probably would have done it yeah? Yeah. I mean, I was going to make her do boobs and everything. She loves Dolly Parton, you know, for those of you who don't know. She asked me. First, she asked me if she was real, and I was like, yeah, and then she put it on her bucket list to meet her. And That sounds like a good bucket list I to me. I think so, too. And then she <laughs> looked at me one day and said, Mom, do you think you're prettier than Dolly Parton? And I was like, heck, yes, I am, you know, because we're all about affirmation and positivity and course, confidence and all that. And she yeah. looked at me and said, I don't think you are. Oh, oh. 
Thanks, Fallon. <laughs> Thank you, Fallon. I said fair enough, Fallon. Fair enough. I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Yeah. You know? I'm just trucking along here. You're doing good, Rach. Thanks. You're doing good. Thanks. See, now we're getting into the nice life right here. Oh, I love it. I really do. She's going to be pretty when she dries, too. We'll post a picture of it dried in the Facebook group. I'll probably put it on social because it's going to be so cute. <laughs> we'll probably make Don't the make other one a solid I know. It's adorable. we got to do the other one, too, though, you know. Got to have a set of three. We need a three-set pumpkin. Three pumpkin set. We can do that. <sighs> What's Charlie doing? Charlie... His new favorite thing to do is to put his hands over his eyes when he's getting in trouble. Because <laughs> he's like, mm, you can't see me. And it's so darn funny. I have to really keep it together, you know, to actually uh -huh. parent. Uh -huh. But man alive, is it funny. <laughs> I can't wait to see him do it. Oh, yeah. my gosh. He'll stand really, really still yeah. and do it like I can't see him. He's so funny, man. He's that kid funny. is hysterical. I don't know. I don't know where he gets it, but he and he and Sammy together. Wow, oh, they are just and a half together. Those little boys. Randy Newman feels like home. Yes, there's another version of feels like home that I love. That's actually it was mine and Wayne's song when we were dating. It, the one from uh, like How to Lose a Gun to This. Nineteen. Yes. It's a long time. You sick of him yet? Oh, for sure. <laughs> I love Wayne. Margot Jordan sang the one for that one, I believe. Maybe Chantal. I don't know. I don't know. There's like 400 things that come up when I search that. Trucking on. Oh, this is. Rachel got a new phone over the weekend. <gasps> I did not know. Got a new phone. How got, is she? She's great. She's amazing. The camera is phenomenal. Oh, yeah? Like, really top notch. I'll have to show Good. you. However, oh, no. I'm sad about it because. Oh, wow. You know, loopies are my favorite cases. And all they had that I would even go with is this poopy brown case. Like, what? Why? Why? It's rose gold to me. Right? And I hate rose gold. I wanted it to be more like saddle leather, you know, because it was called saddle brown. Oh, I'm sure you had high hopes. I did. It was ridiculous. So I'm just waiting for them to come out with some better colors. You know, I think case people should just get on top of that before the phones come out. Well, they do. I mean, they had several out, and other other bigger names. And like, you know, the smaller ones don't. But I think the the bigger names in phone cases get a phone from from Apple to do that. But I, I don't know. The colors they chose were just none of them were, were for me for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, do you like it though? I do. I love it. And Apple has made it so stinking easy to transfer phones now. It took. I have a terabyte of storage, so there's quite a bit of stuff on there. Um, and it, it was one of those things where, you, you know, you put my old phone next to the new phone yes. and transfer it and it uh -huh. took like an hour and 10 minutes and literally everything transferred over in an hour and 10 minutes. Everything. We have, I have almost 11,000 photos. I remember back in the day where if you didn't do that, just so, so. Oh, it was a nightmare and you had to start completely screwed. over. Yeah. Yeah. And then mom came cause mom got my old phone and I did hers cause she had like nothing on hers. I did hers in like 15 minutes. I'm sure. So, it was a good experience. Well, good. Kudos to Apple. Thanks, Apple. My sister-in-law got the new phone, and Fred got the new phone, so they both got one. Fred's is fine. Michelle's camera, front camera and back camera, won't work now. What? Yes, so she has to wait till October 15th to get a new one. That sucks. There's nothing worse than getting a new phone, especially with a good camera. And it not And getting anymore. really excited and then not even being able to use it. Well, we're not all photographers, Becca, you know. I know, Rachel. Speaking of photographers, when are we taking pictures of your family? Because I'm sick of your frames not having photos in them. I thought we decided which photos are going to be in them. <sighs> Those are over the couch. We need some for on oh, the picture ledge. Okay. Um, guys, in, uh, in Knoxville, <clears throat> on the front door at the house, there's a ring doorbell, you know. 
Well, the ring doorbell, unfortunately, uh, takes a photo every single time someone comes towards the door, right? So I let Lenny out uh, four, five times a day. And then at night, if he wakes me up to go potty, I'll get up and go potty. And then he also, because, you know, it's just such a fun man thing to do, put motion-censored floodlights on the front of the house. Now, we're talking, like, bright floodlights, okay? So she's blinded. So I'm blinded when I'm walking back up from letting Lenny out. Um, but the, the, the ring doorbell does not hesitate to take a photo of me every time. And the collection of photos gets stored on his phone. And when I tell you they are some of the... <clears throat> best photos of me ever literally I don't think I've ever seen worse pictures in my entire life like, it's hysterical but we're so used to seeing terrible photos and screenshots and stuff of us that we're like oh my gosh look at these and so she'll send hysterical. them to us and then we dissect them they're absolutely hysterical so what we decided was I'm blonde and then usually my hair's blowed out and I have my glasses on yeah it's a whole thing you know. There are eight, like, 11 by 14 picture frames over her couch. And what we decided was that we would take eight photos yeah. oh, yeah. and Andy Warhol it over there mm -hmm. and just make it the best. I, honestly, if we don't get photos, I'm, I'm going to do that. Well, you I think it's funny. Tell me what to wear. Tell me a time and place and I'll have the troops there. Okay. I'll have the troops Can I tell there. Jason what to wear, too? Good luck with that. <laughs> I keep asking him for just for fun what he's going to be for Halloween. Yeah. Same thing I was last year and the year before that. I said, a fisherman? He said, this. This is what I'm going to be. Like, okay. He'll wear a button-up shirt, right? He can, yeah. I mean. He used to for me. <laughs> He wears a button-up shirt every day, but it's a Columbia Fisherman shirt, which is fine. So I'm just thinking, like, you know, a plaid or a flannel or something like that. And it can even be short sleeve. Not sleeved. if it's long sleeve. I was going to say it can be short sleeved. You know the man stays hot. I know. I get it. Or we could roll the sleeves. You know he rolls them and then shoves them up his elbows, and it looks terrible. Yeah. I keep telling him that's not how you wear that. And he's like, well, it's how I've been wearing it. Well, like, oh. I'll make him wear it right for a photo, and then he can do whatever he that's wants fine. after that. Yeah, he'll, he'll wear something like that for pictures. Well, guys, I think we're, no, we're not done. Every time I think we're done, it we're, I find a spot. I know, the yellow one makes it look like there's nothing on it. I know. It'll dry. Yeah, man. it'll dry perfect. It'll dry. And then, honestly, you can take these and take a stencil and paint a word on it or HTV on it once it's dry if you wanted to. I think they're fine by themselves, but I know so many of you like to embellish even further. A cute, hanging, um, Glowforge cut word like thankful or blessed or whatever from the stem could be cute too. Uh, or even just, if you don't have a Glowforge, some sort of tag, like a wooden tag with a cricketed word on it hanging from it would be really cute. So many different things you could do, but Personally, I think them by themselves is just really cute. And then once they're dry, we might put a couple of ribbons and some raffia or something like that around the stems um, just to really dress them up. But that, okay, so let's talk about how that feels on your hands. The maker's magic. So I had gloves on. So you didn't get any on it? See, I didn't use gloves on mine. Sweat. Yeah, okay. And it felt a lot like, like you could roll it off your hands similar to... Um, Elmer's glue? No, what's that? What's that? Rubber cement. Yeah. What? Rubber uh -huh. cement. <laughs> That's okay. another one. Yeah. Well. Anywho. Well, she's adorable. I do love it. She's cute. She'll look great when she's dried, too. Um. So what do you think of Maker's Magic, Rachel? I like it. It's thin. I think it spreads really well. It doesn't stink as bad as uh -uh. Uh, Mod Podge. Not saying, I mean, a lot of people ask us about fumes. And Mod Podge smells Mod like Podge chemicals is to me. Pretty strong. It's also extremely thick. I can see this drying quicker than mm -hmm. Mod Podge. Uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot for, for this particular product. Project. Yeah. I like it too. Yeah, Wendy Ward. It's Maker's Magic. That's what we're using. It says it dries completely clear, no brush strokes like Mod Podge. Uh, from what we have found, it does have much less brush strokes than Mod Podge. 
Yeah, uh -huh. the bubbles are the only issue. And I got several people who were like, well, you were shaking it up a lot at the beginning. And I did look back and I was moving it around. However, I didn't shake this at all this morning. And when I opened it, there were still bubbles in it. So I'm not really sure that that mattered. Um, that was my only complaint with our comparison were the bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm way high up there. How are you guys? Do you guys have any questions? They're quiet today. Let me, huh? They're quiet today. quiet today. There's 72 people watching, but they're quiet. Are you quiet because I captured your attention with my incredible crafting skills? I'm pretty sure that was it. Sounds about right. If so, then I totally understand why you guys are quiet because this was quite the project. Uh, it was super fun, super easy, super cute. Honestly, decently cheap too. Decently cheap. Now we just have to be patient, which. Good morning, just, RJ. I'll just put a disclaimer. Oak and Lamb is, we are not very patient people. No, oh, I got a heat gun out to mine. Still wasn't drying fast enough, so I just left it. Is it dry now? What re, Remind me what the cure and dry time is on that. 48 hour cure time, one hour dry time. It's been an hour and it's not dry. What's that, Rachel? It's set to 80 degrees. Did you see I'm that? Call him. Oh no, it's happening. It's What's happening. happening? It's happening. What's happening? It's shutting by itself. That thingy? The thingy just shut. Anyways, that's a problem for another time. Sorry, guys. Who would set it to 80? He says it from his phone. He's a jerk. Is he really doing it right now? He's at the dentist. He should not be doing that. <gasps> 83! Oh, no! Jason. He's on here. Jason Michael Lamb. Are you trying to roast me alive like the rotisserie chicken we had for dinner? Oh, I love rotisserie chicken. I love rotisserie chicken. What is going on? It's possessed. I have to call him. Um, anyways. Thank you guys. This is super fun. I like little crafts like this. If you do as well, give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you, you know, been wanting a sign to join the membership, this is your sign to join it. You'll absolutely love it. Thank you, Jason. He texts us that. Are y'all getting hot? Is that what he's saying? Yes. He's horrible. Poor kid. That's mean. We'll see you all later. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining the live today. We'll see you again another day for another video.